Well, we are approaching the close of tonight's debate and in this final segment, this is an opportunity for you to give the candidates time to speak on some closing remarks. So we're gonna give you one minute each to go ahead and tell people why you think you're the best candidate to be the next governor of Louisiana. And we will start with John Schroeder. Well, look, I'm happy to be here and I, I showed up, unlike the Attorney General. You have to represent and lead all the people of Louisiana, not the, just the ones that agree with you politically. So I'm bothered that, he, that he's not here. He's been a no-show for all, all these issues, and I think he's been a no-show on crime for the last eight years. And, and I think the citizens of Louisiana need to pay attention. Nothing against my, uh, everybody sitting here. Look, I'm a business guy. I've built my career on business, not politics. I'm 62 years old. My wife and I are grandparents. I'm not here for a career. I'm not here for a job. This is a devotion to me. I bring experience to the table. Ten, ten years in law enforcement, uh, law enforcement and, and, and military, nine and a half years in the legislature, over 30 years in a variety of different businesses, all in the metro area, building thousands of jobs, investing our money. We believe strongly in family, and I also believe strongly in leadership, and we've got to kill the corruption and cronyism problems in this state. Thank you very and much. And I want to lead the state to do that. Senator Gewitt. This is one of the most important elections in the history of our state. I think it's time for the citizens to draw a line in the sand and say, we've had enough. We don't want to be mediocre anymore. We want to elect people who are going to lead this state in a different way, not the same old political way, but let's elect a leader like an engineer who is a doer, not a talker. I come from an executive leadership position, an engineering executive with a major oil and gas company where I learned some of the best leadership skills from some of the best people in the world. I've spent time in the public schools as a volunteer. I've spent time eight years in the legislature as a leader there. I understand the issues before our state and many of the solutions. I believe that our families deserve and want better education for their kids, high paying jobs for their kids and grandkids, safe neighborhoods, affordable insurance, zero state income tax. We can do all of those things and I believe I'm the best candidate to do that. Check me out at SharonHewitt.com and you can read the Hewitt blueprint on how I plan Thank to do you. it. Thank you. Mr. Wagg is back. You know, I'm asking Louisiana voters to believe. To, to believe that this is the opportunity to write the great Louisiana comeback story. If you think about it, when we get hit by a storm or any type of tragedy, what do we do? We put our guard down, we put our self go, you know, notions down, and we help our fellow man. That's all we think about. We all become one Louisiana. We are in a storm right now. It is unaffordable to live here with insurance and inflation. Our schools are not meeting the needs of parents. Crime is in plaguing our cities. We are losing jobs and people to other states. We are in the eye of a storm. We just don't realize it because there's no named entity in the Gulf. It's time for us to treat this like we respond to every other sense of adversity, like Louisianans always do. Rally together, put solutions over sound bites, put people over politics, and elect someone new who wants to come in and bring people together and drive solutions that can make it easier for us to live here. There's an economic boom going around the South right now. We can benefit if we take the steps to march together in unison to create the new Louisiana we all deserve. Thank you very much, Mr. Lundy. Uh, the problem with our state today is what's sitting around on both sides of me. You know, the extreme red fight and the extreme blue, and nothing gets accomplished at the legislature. That's why I'm an independent. And I know 800,000 single moms could care less whether Jeff Landry's here tonight. You know, once out of every six kids skip school every 30 days because they're being bullied. Our firemen, our policemen, our teachers are woefully underpaid. They could care less whether Jeff Landry's here today. That's why I'm an independent and that's why I'm running for governor. And so yes, our crime, our poverty, uh, you know, our education, they're all linked. Education's the answer to curing poverty. We can go in community by community. We can create redemption laws to where we can take adjudicated property and we can put it in the in a ownership of a team and we can take private, governmental partnerships, nonprofits, and we can transform this, this state city by city, parish by parish. There's money to do it. Thank you. I'll be the governor that does it. Finally, Mr. Wilson. First, thank you to the host of tonight's debate, and thank you for the viewers. And I hope you were able to see that there's a lot of deflection in this campaign. There's a lot of folks that are going to talk around the issues instead of doing what's right for you. I'm the only candidate with 25 years of service to this state, always serving you honorably with transparency, with integrity, and with accomplishment. 
I've worked for Republican and Democratic administrations. I'm going to be a governor that's going to work to make sure the people of Louisiana are safer, smarter, healthier, and of course wealthier. And if it doesn't address any of those four issues, we shouldn't be wasting time on it. I'm the only candidate that has that proven record. I'm going to always show up for you. I'm going to show up in good times and in bad times. I'm going to show up when you need us the most. I'm not going to dodge the issues. I'm going to talk to you straight up, head on, and tell you what the truth is all the time. I'm the candidate that you need to lead us to the future because I've done it for 25 years, building bridges, working with Republicans and Democrats, bridges that are literal and figurative bridges. Visit us at Wilson wilsonforlouisiana.com wilsonforla.com thank you very much and thank all of you for coming out tonight i think we've learned a lot about how you feel about some of the most important issues the state is facing right now in this race all right and thank you so much for joining us for our statewide and thank you to our statewide media partners as well for joining us for this debate have a great night